Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'll try and be upbeat on this video. If you obviously are following the market when you're following this channel, you knew that yesterday, Friday was not a great day, but uh, I took the opportunity and this is, I guess, a perfect time to look at your, you know, look at your portfolio and also remember your goals. So the goals for my portfolio are long term. So it's hard to kind of look at the market sometimes and, and look at your portfolio and the prices are down. We always want them to go up, obviously, uh, but that obviously being the market doesn't always happen. And yesterday was one of those days, but it's good to kind of look back and just remember why, why you're, why you were invested, the the, you know, the term that you're investing and the kind of stocks that you're, you're, you are investing. And that's what I did yesterday. But I did take the opportunity to buy a couple. I put a small deposit in. I think the market right now is going to be, we've been saying this for a while now. We're in some turbulent times here. And I think we're we're at the, you know, we're not definitely not at the end of this. So I think it's gonna carry on for a little bit, a little bit longer. So we'll be you know, we'll be cautious, but we'll also take advantage of this as well. There's always some opportunities in the market and you know, we'll be cautious with deposits, but also keep an eye on our, you know, the stocks that I'm gonna keep an eye on the stocks in the portfolio that are the ones I want to keep growing the positions on and take this opportunity to grow those positions and hopefully down the road and you know, again our time frame is five ten years from now and take uh, hopefully have some profits by then uh, so let's just jump in the portfolio we'll give you some more insights as we go i'll let you know what the deposits i made and what stocks i bought all right, here we are. We are in the TFSA Wealth Symbol Trade Portfolio. We're using the app. This seems to be what everybody likes to use, and this is what I like to use. We'll, we're going to keep definitely using this. Now, of course, you can see right off the bat, down on the day, 2.52%. Not a great day. Now, it, this is thrown off a little bit because I did do a deposit, so it takes a little. You can see kind of the day. You can see the jump up. Uh, it, you know, well, simple takes a little bit to kind of reconcile that. So that'll be kind of gone through. But what I did purchase, we'll go through, we'll show you how the portfolio did. But basically what we'll do is we'll show you what I did purchase for the day. Uh, and I had my eyes on these ones, uh, VFV. This is the Vanguard S&P 500 index ETF. And I've always said to myself, anytime it goes below $100, I'm going to be trying to buy this, this uh, ETF. And I did, I purchased one share. So I did do a deposit of $200. I purchased one, one share of VFV. Uh, yesterday and if we scroll down here we can actually kind of see yesterday we purchased one for 98 92 which is nice to bring our dollar cost average down so we're going to take advantage of we're going to you know use this market to our advantage hopefully and average down on some of these uh, stocks that i have some convictions for another one was vdy this is going to give us our regular dividends which would be nice to see and i did purchase uh two of this and it's a it's still a pricey stock uh we put, purchased two 89 dollars and 46 cents which is nice to kind of get our average cost, bring our average cost down on that as well. And then I did purchase one share of TELUS and that was at 29.43, we're just down a little bit more on the day. TELUS actually did okay on, on Friday, which is nice to see. And the last ones I bought, and people might think I'm possibly crazy for buying into cryptocurrency, but I did. I purchased two shares of the ETC, the Evolve uh, cryptocurrency ETF, which is Bitcoin and Ethereum. I have a video on that if you want to learn more. Definitely do your due diligence on this, but I want to keep slowly chipping away and have a portfolio, you know, the portfolio portion of the portfolio in cryptocurrencies and I've chosen the Evolve cryptocurrencies ETF for that. So I purchased two, um, it's not doing great if you've been following the market, but I purchased two and two shares, uh, uh, sorry, three shares uh, came into at, uh, they were 8.93 each. So they have dropped quite a bit. Let's just show what we're doing here. Uh, they've come down, the price were down 36% on that unfortunately, but I think long-term 10 years from now, we'll hopefully be able to look back and the portfolio will start to grow nicely. I think it's still a good, uh, a good, good sector to start to research if you haven't already. Definitely, I'm, uh, I'm optimistic on this one in the long term. Uh, so let's just kind of go through, do a quick uh, overview of how the portfolio did. We won't dive into the individual stocks. It's basically all down, uh, not great. We did have one stock in the portfolio that was up and that was, uh, un was actually RNW, but that's been down as well. So it's actually kind of nice to see that come up. Uh, on the day up to three cents, but we'll just show you how the portfolio was doing for the year. So the day we were down 195.90, uh, we did do it a positive $200 though as well. So we're kind of, and so for the week, not a great week, you can see here uh, down 4.37% on the week in the portfolio and on the month, $555.55 down 6.79% on the month. So most of these 
Most of these losses have happened this month, unfortunately, uh, but if we see three months, we are down 8.2%, um, but in one year, we've been going now, not quite a year. Uh, so we started last April, we are down 7.46% on the portfolio. Now, the unfortunate thing, we're down $611.13, but you know, that's okay. The majority of the losses on the portfolio, which is uh, which is from the Evolve cryptocurrencies ETF, again we're down four hundred dollars on that. So if we actually look at our our portfolio, you know that's a good chunk of the portfolio right there just for that one stock. But I think that is something that's going to be coming back, uh, not right away obviously, but in the future I think we'll see some some good growth in that uh, in those. Uh, in that uh, space. All right, thanks for watching. Let me know down in the comments below how, how you know, whether you took advantage of, of buying anything. Let me know what your kind of, your outlook is on the market. What are you, how's your portfolio is doing? I'd love to hear about this. We've had some great comments. I did actually do a poll on my community tab. You can check out asking if people bought on Friday or didn't buy. Let me know what you did. Uh, did you buy, did you sell? I haven't sold anything. Uh, just my portfolio and building is again, long-term. So I'm trying not to panic. It's always hard to look at the numbers and, and you want to sell, but again, you don't make money if you sell at a loss. And in the TFSA, obviously, we can't take advantage of any uh, loss uh, from, from selling any tax uh, tax uh, credit, you know, loss credits on that. So we're just gonna let it sit out. We're gonna take a calm approach going forward. We're gonna focus on VFV, VDY, Mytelus, and also the ETC, and then RNW in there we'll keep as well to go to build those dividends up. Um, but I'd love to hear your thoughts. Leave me a comment down below. If you've made it this far and subscribe, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It'd be great to have you follow along. Hey, it's free to subscribe, so it won't cost you a thing. It'd be great to have you join along. I'm trying to grow from zero dollars, we started back in April, all the way to $100,000. It's not gonna happen overnight. It'd be great to have you join in. That's all, everybody. We will catch you next week. Hopefully the markets are going to be a little bit better next week. We'll have to wait and see.